Next up is Weatherline by Ryan Jones. He asked me to take a look and provide some feedback. Uh, this is actually an app that I've used a bunch uh, before, so I may have some uh, less of the new user feedback, more feedback from someone who's used it, but let's take a look. I've reinstalled it as if I am a new user. Okay, we got a loading screen, we get a flip, we get a dialogue. Uh, we can simplify that to just already be here uh, without the flip and have the dialogue. Um, I think that would, that would be nice. Uh, then we then we have allow weather line access. Your location is used to show the local weather forecast. I like the description. I think it should probably end in a period. Um, cause most, most of those alert view messages do. I'm going to see what happens if I don't allow that. Um, okay. And then I'm going to add, seems like that just went completely fine. I'm going to add New York, which is where I am. New York City, New York Mills, great. Um, there is a content inset bug here at the bottom of the screen uh, where it's cutting off the bottom subtitle label and the scroll indicator. Um, great, I'll tap New York City. And here, temperature Fahrenheit versus Celsius. It might, might be nice to have a little degree symbol in those segmented controls. It, it just um, Even if you're not reading the left side, you'd still be able to know that was a Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, we've got a share button in the top left and a done button in the top right. The done button should be done button style, which will make it bold. That'll make it easier to know that that's the right thing to tap. I can reorder this. Um, it's a little bit bugged though, because I can go all the way below here, see it again, come all the way down here. Um, I think that that could be implemented in a, in a nicer way where that wouldn't happen. What else do we have? We've got share rate and email, uh, which are buttons. Um, and you can't tap on the entire cell. I think that these should just be blue text in the cell, uh, still left aligned at, like you have it, but that interactive blue, and then you can you can ditch the buttons entirely and the entire cell becomes tappable. Okay. Requests or help. Um, okay, this is kind of nice, I like rich text, I like that. Might be good to add a subject by default just so they don't get the subject prompt um, when they try to send it. Okay, I'm gonna tap done now. And I've got my weather line, which is a line of temperatures and precipitation through my next day. I know it's going to rain tomorrow uh, or rain overnight uh, into tomorrow morning. I've got hourly, daily, and monthly. Um, when it's here uh, where, where the segmenting control has hourly, daily, and monthly, and there's no divider between daily and monthly, it feels like it, I could be tapping that whole side and having it be some kind of daily, monthly combination. I think. Just a thin one pixel or one point uh, line between those might make that a little bit clearer up front. It is overcast. Um, I think the amount of text in the bottom is okay, but if they could have little mini icons next to them, I think that might help a little bit uh, for scannability. I can pull this up. No precipitation for the hour. Great. Push it down. But when I push it down, uh, it doesn't track my finger exactly. It always follows the exact same animation. I'd much prefer that to work like Control Center and be interactive. Okay, scrolling through, really fast, super performant. I can, uh, can bounce on the end there. I can tap into an hour and it shows me what's going on at that point in time. A little bounce animation to know where I am, which is really nice. People are tweeting at me while I'm trying to review apps. Okay, uh, the daily, a little bit more compressed, can see a bit more. I like the use of color here, especially for, for what's going on. I like the uh, more detailed, feels like breezy throughout the day, mostly cloudy. Um, those can get a little bit long. Uh, like here, this is this is a lot of text. Tap the info button. We're going to go back to that screen with the flip animation, which I think is nice. It's, it's completely fine. We're powered by forecast. I can't learn anything more about forecast by tapping that, I don't think. Oh, yes, I can. Just didn't, didn't actually have a tap down state, so I didn't know that was going to work. Um, should really have a uh, highlighted state for that footer button. And let's see what else. I can swipe on the whole app, and that goes city to city, but I don't know that. Uh, I only know that because I've used the app before. If there was an affordance there, a little plus button, um, or something to let me know that I could keep swiping to add another city, that would be really great. I'm gonna go do that in settings now, though. Add a city, my hometown, where I grew up, of Sicklerville, New Jersey, S-I-C-K-L-E-R. Um, while I'm typing, there's no indication that a search is happening. Uh, a little uh, spinner in the content view of the search or the network activity indicator would, would fix that. 
Sicklerville, New Jersey. There it is. And um, speaking of this, this these text uh, labels hit really, really close to the separators in the cell. I would try and give them a little bit more breathing room. Tap it. A little bit slow there. Uh, performance improvement would be good if it can be if it can happen. We've got the reordering still. Hit done again. And now we're in Sicklerville and New York. We can swipe between them really easily. Try a pinch, uh, to, which is what I would do here, just to see if I could see everything in a list view, but I can't do that. Um, I think that would be nice. Or a little back button um, in the top left that would allow me to see a list. I often like to compare the temperatures of different places against each other, especially if I'm going to a number of different places in a single day. Okay, let's check out any other aspects of the app. Is there 3D touch? No, there isn't. Not sure what that would do, if anything. I'm going to check out the widget, if there is one. Doesn't appear that there is. I think that would be pretty useful. In fact, I, I may have uh, I may have seen that somewhere else, maybe a beta or, or another place. I think that would be good. Um, and here, the final thing I'll say about Weatherline that would that would just make it um, a little bit nicer is to give this title, uh, bar, this navigation bar in the settings screen, a custom treatment. Have a little bit of a logo treatment done for the word Weatherline so that I know that that's the app and, and it'll brand the app a little bit better. Um, Weatherline's a great app. You should all check it out. Uh, that's my feedback, and if you'd like feedback on your app, send it to me on Twitter, and I'll take a look.